and scale with Traders Help Desk. And I'm going to go over the indices today. And we're going to begin with the ES. And you can see right in here that you have a potential for a three bar reversal. This would be considered a two bar reversal. And then if this current bar closes above the high of this middle bar, then we have the three bar bullish reversal. You also see that same pattern right now developing on the weekly. Now we do have Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to get through, but if this pattern continues, then we are likely to see price go up in test at least the 2767 area on the ES. Then if we go over and look at the NASDAQ, we can see that here we just formed a double bottom and it looks like the market is going to go up and test 69.50 and may very well test 70.47 as it's looking for a point of resistance and until it finds that resistance more likely than not it will continue up. If we look at the E-mini Dow Jones you see the same pattern that we saw on the ES. We do have an area that may resist price at 24597 or it could go up to 25326 which is the ATR over on the weekly. Now you do see that it looks like also these markets are overextended using the stochastics. However, if this turns out to be a reversal bar, then we could anticipate the stochastics being overextended for a few more days. Then the last one to look at would be the Russell 2000. And on the Russell 2000, you can see that it's heading right into a potential resistance area at 1602. However, it may very well go to the weekly ATR at 25,327. These weekly ATRs are very important to watch because if they do offer resistance, then we could see the market go into a downtrend. However, if they do not offer the resistance, then of course we could see the market make new highs.